carpet problems. Well, I think up there I've got zippering. Yep. What is zippering? It's where you have a loop pile carpet, and for one reason or another, one of the loops gets caught. One of the most common ways is vacuum cleaner, high heel. Uh, furniture, like these furniture legs, every now and then one of them loses the little plastic insert on the, on the leg, and if you are sitting on it and you move it, it'll catch one of the loops and it'll pull it out. The temptation is to just grab that and pull it. That's a mistake because it'll just keep on going, and that's why it's called zippering. That's one problem that can happen with carpet. The other problem is called rippling. Now this, I don't know how visible this is. You can tell this is commercial. In fact, this is a school. And this is, knowing that, do you suppose there's a pad under there? No. What caused this to ripple, do you suppose? What would cause that? <coughs> Number one, the improper installation, where the adhesive, the adhesive was improperly used. Flood damage. May have been in a flood. Yeah, not properly stretched in. A lot of po possible causes. From our standpoint, frequently the cause is improper maintenance because they are getting it way too wet. Yeah. In fact, there was a story about one school in Florida that had limited funds. Here's their method of cleaning carpet in summer. You get buckets and buckets of water and you throw them down the hall. And it's good and soaking okay. wet, and then you bring in your wet vac, wet dry vacs, and you vacuum it out. That was their cleaning method. Needless to say, they had this problem going on, plus they had all kinds of mold development. And lots of problems as a result. They ended up spending more money than they would have if they maintained it properly. Another problem that can happen is delamination. What's delamination? Yeah, where the primary and the secondary backing come apart. There are two backings in carpet, normal. Unless it's attached to cushion, some of those. Your primary backing, when I pass to give this to you, their primary backing is woven, typically made out of olefin. It's what the loops are formed in. Then a latex is applied, glorified Elmer's glue mixed with clay. I call it pulverized marble, but it's clay. What is clay? Up to how expensive do you suppose clay is? It's cheap. So, I, so to save money, how would have one of the, what could be one of the ways a mill could save money? Put in more clay. Cut down on the latex. Then your secondary <coughs> backing is applied. Typically today, that's also olefin. These go through what's called a marriage roller, where they're squeezed together, put them together, and then into a curing oven so that the latex is dried off and cured, etc. Delamination is where these two come apart. There are a lot of ways this can happen. Number one, it could be the mill's fault. They extended the, you know, they tried to cheapen it too far. Number two, it can happen because. It got wet, in other words, there was a flood, something like that, and rather than correcting the problem right away and keeping people on it, you had a thousand people walking up and down it all day while it's still wet. And of course, while it's still wet, what's the latex like? It's barely holding on and the carpet is shifting and then it dries. And so it may re-adhere wrong and you will have ripples, which is caused by the delamination. Another cause for that would be, and especially that rippling as well, might be from in a school, places like that, where you have very heavy carts on wheels, and you're moving them down the hall. You have a lot of lateral force, and if that glue isn't holding well, and it pops loose, you can have a problem. You can also cause delamination. If you use a very strong spotting agent, pour it directly onto the carpet and it gets down into the backing, do you suppose that might dissolve or soften the latex? Yes. Then every now and then you'll see where some carpet cleaner has taken like our product safety solvent, the dry volatile solvent, pretty potent stuff, and just poured it onto the carpet. Boy, this is really greasy. Glug, glug. 
onto it. And he blots it, and he sees he's walking away from it. You can see it swell up. And the only way of curing that is to get it dried out well, and with a hypodermic needle, get some, get some glue down in there and put a weight on it to re-glue it into place. So you yourselves can do that.